So this problem is going to be particularly difficult because of the, fra the fractions that we have here. Um, there will be some use of the LCM later, but first, just solve the first equation in terms of x and restate your system to be what you see here. So you get x is equal to negative y over 3 minus 1 over x over 4 plus y over 2 equals 1. Now we're going to call that second one e equation 2 and then what I need you to do is I need you to sub 1 into equation 2. And now this is where the long drawn out difficult problem is. We're just going to do our substitutions and then we'll do our LCM calculations. So you'll notice how I replaced x with negative y over 3 minus 1 equals 1. So this is the complex part. Now literally we're just going to multiply by 4 as our LCM and when you multiply by 4 you're just multiplying the top of each bracket by the number 4 and then you're going to do a kind of cross cancellation with anything that's a fraction. If you have a whole number, all you're doing is just giving me the answer back. 4 divided by 4 gives a 1 and a 1, so that whole bracket that we have over top of our first fraction just comes out as negative y over 3 minus 1 plus 2y equals 4 times 1, which is 4. Now what I want you to do is I want you to drop the brackets. Now when we drop the brackets, we're going to get y, negative y over 3 minus 1 plus 2 equals 4. So now you're just going to collect all your whole numbers on the left side. So on the right side, you're going to get something equals 4. Nothing changes, but you're going to get negative y over 3 plus 1 equals 4. So, you know, I could move the one over to the other side or I just multiply everything by three. I just like multiplying by three. I, I, I love it. Multiply everything by three and what will happen is you're gonna get all that over three, one times three and four times three. So now you're going to get negative y, I believe, plus three is equal to four. Now you could have simplified by moving this stuff all over to the one side. It's up to you. And we end up with 12 on the right side. So now we'll solve for y. y ends up being in the end 3 minus 12, which means y is equal to negative 9. So now that I've got y is equal to negative 9, I have to back substitute. I have to take the y equals negative 9 and we're going to sub that into equation 1 since it's already solved for x. It's very important that any time you solve for one variable, you always use that to help you back substitute into your equation. It's very, very important. Now, this next substitution is just going to be x is equal to negative 9 in brackets over 3. But there's another minus sign in front. Make sure you catch that. And then minus 1. So it ends up being 9 over 3 minus 1. So x ends up being 3 minus 1, which is our solution. So x is 2. So now all you have to state is, therefore, the solution is... Well, xy equals bracket 2, negative 9. And we're done. All right, so let's explore this problem again. So now we're going to do exactly what we did before, where we took a look at the first equation and solved for x. Now, Sometimes you guys have some issues with these type of equations. So what, we, what I would tell you to do immediately is to multiply all of these numbers by the LCM 
and you're going to get the following equation. We have x plus 2y equals 4. So if I took 4 times this part here, we're going to end up with just x because 4 divided by 4 will give us 1. So now x is left alone. Now 4 divided by 2 will give us 2. And 4 times 1 will give us 4. So now let's do our full solution. So let's sub 1 into 2. But before we go on, let's make sure we understand how we went from here to here. Some of you guys have issues with that. So we start in this nice little bubble here with x over 4 plus y over 2 equals 1. So this is what I call my aside. So now we're going to multiply by the LCM of 4. So this times 4 and this times 4 and this part also times 4. So now we're getting our cancellations. 4 and 4 cancel out to be 1 and 1. And 4 from this part and this cancel out to be 1 and 2. And this and this last part here just comes together to be 4. So let's rewrite that. So we have x plus 2y equals 4 as our answer for our new equation. So don't be afraid. You can you you can actually change uh, both equations at any time. So if you're getting more sophisticated with it and you want to make your life easier, you can take you can take two equations and go for it. Okay? Subbing one into two, we get the following. And dropping the brackets, we get. And now, since I hate fractions, let's just multiply everything by three. Oh, in essence, we're doing this to each one of those numbers. Each whole number I look at as a fraction, as like negative one is really negative one over one. 2y is just 2y over 1, and 4 is 4 over 1. So now when we multiply through, we get some cancellations. This disappears with this, and we're left with 1. And the rest, you just distribute normally. Now, here is our next line. And we get this. Collect your like terms. And now let's solve for 5. Y. And now we get this, which means 5y is 15. y is 15 over 5, so that means y is equal to 3, which is what we expect. And now let's back substitute. There we go. You'll notice when I substituted my y into my equation, I left it in a bracket. So now we get x is equal to, well... Simplifying all of that, we get negative 1 minus 1, which means x is equal to negative 2. So this was just an alternate way to make your life a lot easier, okay? Alright guys, have a good weekend.